President Trump, where's the beef? I keep waiting. It's Thursday, about 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Where's the beef? Let me just make it clear. I am one of your supporters. I voted for you in 2020. I voted for you in 2016. You're the only presidential candidate that I've actually donated money to during a campaign. I didn't, I didn't even donate money to Ronald Reagan or George Bush, but I've donated money to you and your campaign. For me, a lot of money. And I'm still waiting. I believe that this election was stolen. I don't disagree with you on that. I've posted a video, I'll link to it here, pointing out anomalies in voting patterns, which suggest to me fraud. So I don't disagree with you. I don't doubt you when you say the election was stolen from you. I believe you and I support you. But last week, you know, you promised that this week, and it's already Thursday, there'd be some big revelation. You know, I'm waiting for it. Last week, I remember seeing uh, one of your lawyers say that they were about to release the Kraken. I'm still waiting for that, too. I want to know what's happening. When's it coming? You know, wh what is it that we're waiting for? And when are we going to see it? I'm old enough to remember the 1984 election. I mean, I'm old enough to remember when the phrase, where's the beef, moved into the American lexicon, especially the political lexicon. Now, some of you watching this video may not be old enough to remember. So let me just refresh your memory. It certainly is a big bun. It's a very big bun. Big fluffy bun. It's a very big fluffy bun. Where's the beef? Some hamburger places give you a lot less beef on a lot of bun. Where's the beef? At Wendy's, we serve a hamburger we modestly call the single. And Wendy's single has more beef than the Whopper or Big Mac. At Wendy's, you get more beef and less bun. Hey, where's the beef? I don't think there's anybody back there. That line from that commercial, Where's the Beef, was used by Walter Mondale in a debate with another 1984 Democrat candidate, Gary Hart. Gary Hart outlined all these ideas he had, and Mondale turned to him and said, you know, we've heard this all before. Where's the beef? And it's stuck. And listening to things going on last week and seeing what hasn't happened this week, that phrase, where's the beef, popped back into my head. And that's what I'm asking is, where's the beef? Because I'm starting to get worried that there really, there's no beef on that bun. And I, I want to be proven wrong, but I'm really starting to grow concerned. I'm also growing concerned about this Kraken thing. I mean, I know what a Kraken is. It's a mythical creature. So as soon as I heard that, I started to worry. How are you going to release a creature that doesn't exist? I understand it was a metaphor and all that, but I've been waiting all week to see the Kraken. The closest I've gotten to a Kraken was, I think, Monday for lunch. I, I opened a tin of a Goya jumbo squid, uh, and I had that for, for my lunch with a little bit of a spinach and some cheese. Is, is that, was that the Kraken I was waiting for? A can of Goya jumbo squid? I hope the hell it wasn't. I hope there's something else coming. But I have to say, as the days have passed this week, I've grown more concerned. I think of my jumbo squid. I think of the Where's the Beef commercial. And now, Thursday afternoon, I'm beginning to wonder that there is no beef. There is no Kraken. So what I'm hoping is that you prove me wrong. And that over the next several days, hopefully within a week, I'll see the Kraken. I'll see the beef on the bun. Because if not, 
I'm going to get really concerned. Not because I don't think this election was stolen, don't get me wrong, but because I'm afraid that it was stolen and that if nothing's done in response to that and Joe Biden becomes president of the United States and they got away with that, they're just going to do it again and again and again. I truly fear, and I've pointed this out in another video, which I'll link to here, my fear is that the election of 2016 was the last predominantly fair, non-fraudulent national election we will have had in this country. But 100 years from now, when we look back, 2016 will be the last real election at the national level. That's my deep concern. And if there is no Kraken, if there is no beef, God save us all. Anybody watching this video out there, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down. Am I being too harsh on President Trump and the campaign? Share the video with your friends. Hit the notification button so you know when I post new videos. Subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, whether we see a Kraken, whether we see the beef or not, stand tall and keep fighting. God save America.